Hey guys, how's it going? So today we are doing something special. Fairly special, at least. We are going to explore the pit. Mostly the area behind the pit with the woods and such. So, I'm wearing my killer hat, as you can see. I'm wearing two sweatshirts. I'm wearing my boots, my jeans, so my mugging knife, my standard string says pocket knife, my hunting knife, and my bowie. Just in case we run into something that isn't quite friendly. So what we're gonna do is and then so I got my backpack right there that I'm gonna use. I have a pair of fingerless gloves, a pair of gloves with fingers, I have my tripod, a pair of sunglasses, like a hundred feet of paracord, a couple ropes, and a small med kit with just your standard like band-aids, anti poison ivy and stuff, emergency blanket. I'm also going to use that bag to carry any small rodents I find because Chipmunks like to dig underneath our garage door. Like they're tearing up our garage door. Like right underneath it. So, my dad says it's open season on all chipmunks. And small rodents. Which include mice, rats, and the aforementioned chipmunks. So, as you can see right there, they've They've torn up the rubber that's on the edge of our garage door. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pack up all the stuff on this table over here. And I am going to bike down there, wearing helmet, glove, fingerless gloves, backpack, bike. Uh, and then, see where it goes from there. I'll catch you on the flip side. Okay, so we are here at the pit. And... It seems pretty barren at the moment. Yeah, some ge geese just went flying. Well, not geese, but like... Birds on the water. There is not many signs of life, except for... Some deer tracks here and there. So, here's a look across the widespread plain. As you can see, this place used to be, if you knew this area, used to be much more awesome. But now, since the bulldozers have been there, been here, there isn't much to do here now. So, I'm gonna uh, hike it to the woods over there. Hike it to the woods over there. And we're gonna explore. Okay, so I seem to have found some paths here. But, this is a little from the road over there. So, what I'm thinking on doing is, when I came in here, I saw a, a sort of driveway, and uphill it's like slope, gravel, so I'm going to park my bike over there, and we're going to start from there. That's the only landmark I can find at the moment. Okay, so as you can see, this area will be a really good area to build like a house on the side of a hill. Just I'm not planning on doing that right now. But you can see the elevated area right over there. So I'm gonna park my bike over there and then we're gonna hit the trails. 
whichever ones we find. Okay, I'm back. So, I've parked my bike right here, and my bike has no kickstand, so it's just gonna lay on the ground. The road's gonna be a pain because there's a bunch of dirt and mud and sand and such in the tires. So, what I'm planning on doing is I could go down that ravine right there, which leads to over there, or I could go down this ravine right here, which is a bit steeper, but it also has stuff to grab onto, which leads to what well, looks like the same spot. But because I have the camera, I'm gonna take the less steep path. There's also a path over here. Deer tracks. Watch that one. This looks like an ATV track, but it could have been formed by deer. Just going through here a lot. That tends to happen in, this, in rural areas, which is here, for example. I'm glad I brought my boots because they're already extremely muddy. My shoes have been practically destroyed by now. So there's the side of the hill up there. There's been like tally trample this way. Odd, odd, odd. So, one day I might make a video where I'm making a house in the side of that hill. I don't know. I could. Well, I know I can. I just don't know if I will. Will I make a house there? Probably. Well, I. Oh, here's steep. It's kind of a steep bit here. Birds. So, I might make a video of me in the house if I were to make it. But, I don't know if I'm going to make it. Make the house. Or not. So I don't know if I'm gonna make. Well, long story short, I don't know if I'm gonna make the house or not. If I do make the house inside of the hill, I may may not make a video out of it or videos. Cause it's a lot of work. Let me just make sort of like a mansion in the hills, like side of the hill, just for fun. I mean like, the company that was estimating this is out of business, and I know that because I've done my research. It's nice just to be like out in the wildlife, out in the wilderness. Just going for a hike. Here's a ATV trail right here. You can tell because the grass is trampled in two spots. I see something white over there. Let me take a look. My pants are going to be soaked by the end of this. But, hey, at least we had fun. Okay, so I'm getting closer to the white stuff, and there seems to be a lot more stuff by it. 
I'm getting a bit closer. Seems to be just a giant scrap pile. Sink. Seems to be just a giant scrap pile with some glass here and there. Some gutters. Looks like there was a house. Mm, there's like a shack set up back here that got really destroyed. Or someone just tossed all the garbage ba right back here. Or no one will find it. Which is the more likely option. Tin. White metal. Um. Got some beer bottles back there. The area is pretty waterlogged at the moment. Evidence suggests that it rained last night. Anything in this bucket? Nope, that's in the bucket. Quite a bit of stuff back here. So, yes. Exploration. There's a set of woods over there. Um, let's go that way and finish. Well, not finish, but like, go that way. Or I could skip to the over there. I'm gonna go the normal way. So, once I, if I find anything interesting or I just feel like filming again, I'm gonna pick this back up. I seem to have hit a fork in the road. I could go that way, whether it's this ATV trail, or I could go that way. I'm thinking I'm gonna go deeper into the woods. So, whenever you can, just like take a hike out in the woods. Could just be your backyard. Could be a national park. Could be the hundred mile wilderness in Minnesota. Cinder block. But any way you choose. Just make sure they have fun. That's all this is about. You can enjoy life by all of it. Life can be about anything you want. I know that sounds stupid, because it kind of is. It's very cliche. But in life, you can do just about anything you set your mind to. You want to build a house? Go build a house. You want to build a hut? Go build a hut. You can do just about anything you want in life. Bucket. Can you scoop my way in here? Is there anything in the bucket? No, oh, there is not. Just dirt. Okay, so, there's woods over there, and there's a trail over here. I'm gonna go to the woods route. So it seems to be a fairly extensive woods. There isn't much. By the looks of it back here. Now I'm seeing a pile of trash and such. That's a rock, it's like a boulder. There's some trash right there. It's like a piece of metal. Yeah. Tires, some big rocks and boulders. 
beer can, the metal, plastic glass jar, lots of glass, glass jars. So rubber. Very odd. Bottle. So now the ground. Come over this log right here. Hold on to trees, especially if it's slick. Back here. Back in the woods after it rained. More jars. That is vodka. That is a vodka jug. But that's not your standard thing of vodka. That's like grandpappy's vodka. The kind of vodka that is sold by the gallon. That's quite hard to come by. A lot of tires. Oddly enough, so I can pull it up. Can. That's a big ass vine. It's a vine right there, it's not a tree. That'd be a vine. This is what happens when nature goes unchecked. Does just about anything it wants. Oh god. That's got some weight to it. Then again, I only do it with one hand. And just my bicep. Okay, so. And you may come back for these and make a punching bag out of them. That's. Well, the only thing old tires are good for now. Because it costs money to recycle them. Plastic pipe. Or metal tube. Huh. Odd. Could use a tech leg if I wanted to. If I washed my leg. I'm gonna leave it there. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna come back for this later today. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hike it out here. This thing's really heavy. Especially with my non dominant arm. And that failed. I wasn't trying to adjust the zoom. I'm trying to hold the camera with my right hand. Hey, it's about to falter or something. P-A-T-D and Pat's Penned. Made in USA. Odd. Toss with that. Carry it out later with me. I come back here. And then, at the end, whatever I do find, I'll carry back to my place. Off camera. That's a lot to do on camera. I'll just make a ton of trips. Make a day out of it. So, very big rock field. No, right over there. Oh, the shoe. Odd.
Here's like a giant trash pile, basically. Heavy duty plastic right here. I'll be sure to take this with me. I'll place an entire. It's not as much of an import. I think I found another piece of the shoe. It looks like it's been bitten off by the most of the toes. But I don't know anything I could do that back here. Well, I do know stuff, but none of that attack people. Coyotes, but they don't attack people often. Yeah, coyotes. Another reason I'm carrying hunting and bowie knife. Shirt. Big one, big one too. So either where a person goes to dump all their trash, or they just do. Plus the tube. I want to scrap piece of the wood back here. I mean, like. It's cut into such small pieces that, like, it's really not even usable anymore. It's destroyed cloth. This is a blanket. Soaked. So I like it. Um, just getting a sense of my bearings. I know wood just looks like giant, like a bunch of trees on camera, but it's important to be aware of your surroundings, especially in deep woods. I mean, it isn't that deep. There's Houses that way eventually. Hmm. Either. Yeah, this tree just broke. I say either this tree just broke or someone chopped it down, but based on the breaking pattern, someone just chopped it down. Some shingles. Mm, these are roofing shingles. I don't know why they're back here, but they are. A few different piles of them. How do you 
break a pitchfork. Mm -hmm. I can use that. Take it back to my scrap heap. My pile. Let's take this back up to my scrap pile. A lot of vines over that way, so I might not go over through there because vines are kind of hard to maneuver. Like, I was here last night, and I'm just now discovering the stuff that I've discovered in, the, in this video. But then again, I wasn't here for... Like, well, I probably was here for hours, but I wasn't here that long. Like, I will be today. Because today... All I'm interested in is recording. So, I should have like, a bottle of water with me. That would have been a smart thing to bring. But, I didn't. And where did I put those metal pieces? Everything blends in in this area. Um. Oh, right, right there. And that's another tire buried right there. Stove top. There you go. Stove top. Odd. Don't know why that's here. It's old. I'll take it back with me. More metal pieces. Two of them. Ugh. This stuff is immensely heavy. This is cast iron. You can tell by the weight. The way you know it's cast iron is it's extremely bloody heavy. may end up being a year-round venture. Huh. This tree must have fallen over. That one over there, too. It must have fallen over when those three different um, tornadoes touched down. All in Ohio. Only. That is the only way that I know of how you drop that. And then obviously construction douchebags just drop a bunch of rocks here from the pit. Because rocks don't just float up when a tree falls. It's not something that happens. I 
I'm sure. Can I just like form into a giant pile? Yes. But they don't do that. Maybe you should watch your footing. Remember the saying, pessimist looks down, hits his head. Optimist looks up, loses his footing. Realist looks forward. And then I don't think I know, and I think that's either where the saying ends, or that's but that's all, the whole part that I know. It could be like, realist looks forward, and ventures on, or something like that. Okay. See a house to the trees there. I'm gonna go that way. As to not get shot, thinking I'm either a deer, or a coyote, or someone just thinks I'm trespassing. It's also filmed Saturday the 27th. People are usually home on the 27th, on Saturday. I have explored. <coughs> <coughs> I have explored this area a bit, but not that extensively. I'm not back here that much. Okay, so I'm gonna pick this back up once I find something interesting. I'll see you later. Well, not see you later, but like in a bit. Okay, I'm back. I found no stick. No stick that like, it looked like it was a part of a, uh, not like quite survey marker, tires, but like, um, one of those giant metal things that you put in the ground, and like you can like put a fence on them, a wire fence. Oh, you're broken off. That's not a shotgun shell. And here's a pretty big clearing. Do you know I have the little stick and I can whack all the brush and stuff out of my way. It's a bit too short for that. I'm just gonna lean up against this tree here. Okay, so, this field a while back, this clearing right here, had, like, this, like, type of, like, pricker bush, with a bunch of tiny thorns, and now I'm seeing a different type of pricker bush, with bare thorns. So, wearing pants, you might as well explore. That's pretty tall. Don't know how a vine got up that high. I think we're down. Could we run down? Crying down is most likely. I should have brought my machete with me. Um, you know what? Time for the Bowie. Switch hands. Um, yeah, Bowie isn't that effective at this. Oh, that's news. Yeah, it's not heavy enough or long enough. So it looks like I'm just gonna have to do outdoorman step. What is outdoorman step? You might wonder. 
It's where it crushed down the plants. With your feet. Before you walk over them. Hence the name Outdoor Man. So, outdoor, Outdoorsman. So. I guess that's just my name for it. Get off me. Thank you. It's not quite better, but... It's all tiny thorns in that. Okay, so I'm gonna come back when I'm on the other side of this bush. Okay, so I, I lied. I'm not all the way through this just yet. I still have a bit farther to go. But I found this tree which is somewhat destroyed. It's like it was eaten somewhat. Very odd. But I'm through all the most of the tiny prickers and such. So I'm gonna just to go through this part, which I'm gonna do with two hands. So okay, I'm back. I got out of the brush pile a bit a bit ago. Not not long, just just a little bit. And Back into the open woods. The worst part about going through brush that thick is there was no trees to keep my balance on. Because it's actually on that dirt mound that was there. That was the major elevation part. Indeed, the elevation part. So, uh, yeah, um, there's no trees, so it's kind of hard to keep the balance when there's no trees to hold on to. What do you mean, no matter which way I go, like, this is a very rural area, there's a lot of woods. I know the area well. I I know the area well, so no matter where I come out, I see a house over there. Let me go that way. Yeah, uh, a little while ago I was just like running a scenario through my head if I were to get attacked by a wolf. Well, coyote. Or, no wolves that I know of back here. In this area. Well, if I were attacked by a coyote. Like, what I would do, how people would react. It's like, I'm thinking... Most people, gen generally speaking, most people hate me in our school. In my school. So, no one really care. Here, we all be like, well, it's your fault for going outside. It's like, oh, I'm sorry, I don't spend all day inside playing Fortnite. <laughs> But, yeah. Now, like, my friend group would, like, be the main people who are like, What happened to you, Logan? Yeah, my main cousin would probably come out to these 
like my second cousin would come out to these woods because he's a hunter and he would probably just like hunt every single coyote that's out here and just kill it kill them all but think about it people always say animals are more afraid of you than you are of them but the thing is usually when animals are frightened they attack I see a path through the woods there and a path through the woods there I'm gonna go through there because that area seems a bit more thick and lots of a path this one seems more of a path Deer pathish, deer pathy. Cause like, I have two cousins in this part of the state. All the cousins that I know of having, and all the cousins I probably do have, are in Ohio, home state of Ohio. I'm hearing music coming from that way. I'm trying to go this way ish. I know the area well. This it's like a bunch of woods is in like a, it's like surrounded by streets. But like it's not like a park. This isn't a major location that people go to often. I've never actually seen another person back in these woods. But then again, most of the people around these woods are very indoorsy. And then again, the, like my second cousin who's here isn't here on the weekends. Like he's here during the week, but he's not here during the weekends. So, and weekends most of the time, Guy and I explore these woods. Which I'm pretty sure I've gone past the woods at this point, or past the pit at this point. The weekends is most time I've explored these woods. But this is the furthest I've ever gone. All for YouTube. YouTube, the greatest excuse ever. So, um, if I do end up walking out of here, uh, not the way I came though, I know exactly how get back. I have a compass in my pocket, which that's not going to help much without a map, but I know that the way behind me, I think, is northeast, and my house faces northeast. So, and then I have a mental map in my head. Time where to go. I'm seeing a slight clearing out here. It's like, do I know exactly where I am? Not really. No. I haven't seen any landmarks in a while. If I see a deer stand, they'll semi-sturdy. I'll climb it. Just try to get a, my bearings. Portage County. Bucket. And some big tires. 
use anything under the bucket. Nope. Yeah, I officially don't know where I am anymore. I'm just gonna... But I know if I keep going this way, this way, I'll find, I think, Bartholomew Road. Don't take my word for that, though. I'm not good with road names. Yeah, any more pepper bushes. Okay, so going through the trees here. Which I've never gone this far. So I am seeing a slight path here. Kinda reminds me of the desert. California desert. Well, like, just from what I've seen on the internet. Okay, and I'm finding trails. Most likely deer trails. Um, yeah, those are deer hood marks. So, because that one right there. That one right there, excuse me. Uh, so. Follow deer trails, I guess. I think I found my way out. I think I found a piece of track right there. It's on the blue. It's a tarp. Long stretching tarp, oddly enough. Don't know why that's back here. But okay. Bigger of a trail, it seems more like a small road, dirt road, but it's just this individual segment. I've been this far back. Pants. Because we've gotten wet. So I'm gonna need to change these. Try to put on some sport shorts later. Okay, I know where I am, I think. I think. You can see the road over there, power lines. What in the... I'm back to the pit entrance. So... I was going that way. I thought I was going that way. Huh. That's big. Um... My neighbor's log house over there. Home. I don't think it's much further back. Um, I go that way and go down to Cousin's house. And you just walk straight from there. So I could do that or I could just bike that way. I'm hearing voices coming from over there. I'm hearing voices coming from over there. I'm gonna take back this way. It's be funny if you're like, what are you doing back here? It's like, going for a hike? It's like, 
real life with a bony knife and a hunting knife? It's like, yeah, there's coyotes. What'd you expect? I didn't know there was a gate on this place. Like a barbed wire fence. No one's back here. Ever. Like, they have some of their construction equipment. We just been back here for years. I'm pretty sure even before the gate was up. Back when that drive was just built. I'm kind of exhausted from that walk. I didn't have any water. That was an extensive trip. I did not expect that. Huh. That was exhausting. I'm gonna get my bike and I'm head on home. Work at my hut. I'm building for my project for BTV, which that's gonna be on a separate account, separate channel, because we had to create a new channel as part of the requirements, and it had to be on school account. So, that's where I'm going to upload videos from now on. Well, not from now on, but like, grounded building stuff from now on. Now this may be a good area for some, for some extreme biking. Meh. There's a lot of gullies going up there. Moist air. This breeze going at the moment. With some water vapor in it. It's very nice, it's very cooling. Birds are going nuts over there. Ooh. Yeah, this is probably the most exercise I've had in quite a while now. Going on a hike this long. Which this is just gonna be my training hike from now on. For like Boy Scout trips. Just going through that woods. Maybe. I think that was obsidian for a second, but it's too fried to be obsidian. Also obsidian, but a bit shinier. I 
Um, what I could do is, I could go to the path I went the other day, yeah, last night, and I'll pick it up once I'm doing something interesting. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go do something interesting. I'm gonna go I'm gonna do, explore some more, do some interesting stuff. If I can find anything interesting. And let's see where that takes us. Okay, so I found more reeds that I tend to harvest. Which, that's not extremely interesting, so I just... I might make, make a part of a video on that, might not. But... I'm back to where a piece of a building, brick and mortar. Interesting. And no, that's not a brick and mortar joke. There's those bricks mixed with mortar holding them together. And a piece of a building. Which. And the two cousins that I mentioned I have in the state. There's my second cousin, who's a hunter. And we have my third cousin, who... His dad is one of the county trust... Or, not county, but... Township trustees. So, I'm going to hop back, going to turn this off until I'm out of this thick area. So I'm somewhat, somewhat out of thick thicket, and I found my tire. And I used to think, like last night, I thought this was a road over here, but it is not. So I'm going to go back. So I only got 16 minutes left on the battery. So I'm going to climb out of here, and then... So I can find anything interesting and I'll, I might film it. Depending on how interesting it is. Okay, so I found that tube thing right there. Can't remember things being annoying. Okay, there we go. So, I found that tube like thing right there. Piece of rebar. Right next to it there. And a piece of rebar there. I'm only gonna take this with me because that's something I can get at the moment. Okay, I found, uh, I think steel rod. And a piece of like flat steel right there. Okay, so I found a couple of gallon drums. Neither of which I can take back with me because they're either stuck or full of water. And I don't know about you, but I can lift. I can't lift fifty-five times eighteen. Or eight. Because gallon usually weighs about eight pounds. Gallon's about eight pounds. Uh, multiply that times 55, which I don't know off the top of my head. But I can't lift that heavy of stuff. I am not nearly strong enough for that. So therefore. We're not getting, huh? I'm not getting those for a while. So, yeah. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay, so I'm back home. I'm wearing some clean dry clothes now. Because my pants are soaked from the venture. And my shirt, the back of, like, the back was caked in sweat. So, now I'm wearing some clean clothes. And I'm about to edit this, all this footage into one video, one video, which is a lot of work for one video. And so, yeah, um, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.